A few days before. Welcome to 3D Chill. Today, I'm going to show you how you'll survive the inevitable spider apocalypse with this 3D printed tic tac gun. Watch this video till the end to be prepared, because they will be coming to a city near you. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Let me introduce the Joro Spider. These spiders, they're huge and they're coming for you and everyone around you. These spiders are originally from Japan. It's believed they stood away on cargo containers and made their way to the United States. Currently, they're terrorizing the Southeast, but it's believed they will spread across the US in a matter of years. They're just everywhere. I decided that I'm gonna do something about it. The Tic Tac Gun, version two, rubber band edition. If you wanna follow along, go grab yourself the files from Thingiverse or printables. I've left both links in the description below. All right, enough talking, let's get printing. Now that we got the parts printed, let's go grab some hardware. I'm using four three millimeter socket head cap screws. These are 16 millimeters in length. You'll also need to grab yourself four nuts. Last but not least, we can't forget the ammo. I'm using orange Tic Tacs because I was told they were the best. Having gathered all the materials we need, a little prep work and assembly is all that remains. And of course, spiders. Can't forget the spiders. In order to install the screws, I'll need to pop off the supports that are blocking the holes. The screw holes also needed to be enlarged with the needle file. Definitely one of my most useful tools. We'll also need to remove the support that's blocking the bolt guide. It'll be necessary to remove any leftover support material. Yeah, this still isn't quite right. I know what you're thinking. If you only read the directions, you would know you wouldn't need supports. And to you, I say you're right. But unfortunately, I have supports, so I gotta clean it up. Don't do what I did. I can't print without supports. Let's grab some sandpaper and see what we can do. Now that's smooth. The trigger and bolt can now be put in place. Let's close it up and install the screws. Make sure you don't over tighten the screw that holds the trigger in place. This will make the trigger stick. Here's what makes this build so unique. You can change the power by just swapping out the rubber bands. Now grab those orange Tic Tacs. Even though I was told these are the best, I'm not so sure. What do you think? These were a pain to remove. And in the end, it just made more of a mess. Next time, I think I'm gonna leave the labels on. Additionally, when the Tic Tacs get wet, the colors bleed everywhere. If you find that the container is difficult to put on, you can take some sandpaper and smooth out the groove that holds the container. While this is gonna make it easier to put on, you're gonna find out quick that it also makes it easy to fall off. Alrighty then, let's try that again without the mess. Now that we have everything assembled and ready to go, let's find ourselves some spiders. If you like what you see, smash that like and subscribe button for more videos like this. Yeah, take that. Have some candy. Go away. Your mama's an octopus. Get off my lawn. What? Yes! Yes, yes, <laughs> Yum, yum, yum! <laughs> Have the rest, I give up. Well, that's not what I expected.
I suppose if I would have read the description, I would have known that this is more of a Tic Tac dispenser than a Tic Tac gun. But at least now, I have this pretty sweet Tic Tac dispenser. There comes one of them now. I'm getting out of here.